it takes time to uh, reverse engineer the way in which we operate. For instance, uh, I, it took me a long time to notice that uh, the things that I care about are largely not about me as an individual. So, I mean, uh, of course, you all know this because it's a moral prerogative that the, you uh, don't only care about yourself, but also about the greater whole and future generations. But what does that actually mean? Right? You are basically mm -hmm. an agent that is modeling itself as part of a larger agency. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. so you get a compound agent. And a similar thing is uh, true for the behaviors in your own mind. They are not uh, seeing themselves as all there is, but they are uh, at some level model that they are part of a, a greater whole of some kind of processing hierarchy and control hierarchy in which they can uh, temporarily take over and run the show, but then they will be taken over by other processes and they need to coordinate with them. And they are part of that coordination. And this goes down to the lowest levels of, uh, of the way in which this is implemented. And ultimately you uh, realize that you have um, information processing systems uh, on this planet, uh, which um, coordinate, uh, for instance, uh, the, an organism or that coordinate the cooperation between organisms or that cooperate um, cooperation within ecosystems. And this is the purpose of our cognition in some sense. It's the maintenance of complexity so we can basically shift the bridgehead of order into the domain of chaos. And uh, this means that we can harvest neck entropy in regions where dumber uh, control systems cannot do that. That's the purpose of our cognition. And uh, to understand our own role in it and the things that matter uh, is the, the task that we have. And there are some priors that we are born with. So ideas about the social roles that we should be having, the things that we should care about and should not. And uh, over time, we replace these priors, these initial reflexes with concrete models. And once we have a model in place, we turn off the reflex. So, so you, you don't think that the expression of proxies and evolution means that harvesting neg entropy isn't actually what life is all about? Uh, because it becomes about other things once we gain access to proxy rewards and rational spaces and self-reflection. I think it's an intermediate phase where you think that the purpose of existence is to, uh, for instance, amass knowledge or to have insight or to have sex or to be loved and love and so on. Uh -huh. And uh, this is uh, just before you understand what this is instrumental to. And ultimately, right, but like you start doing it, those things and they don't contribute to neg entropy. They do. Uh, if they are uh, useful for the uh, for your uh, performance as a living being or for the performance of the species that you're part of or the civilization or the ecosystem, then they serve a certain role. If not, then they might be statistically useful. If not, then there might be a dead end. You're, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Um, but if the civilization that you're part of doesn't understand that it's in the long term battle about entropy, uh, then uh, it is uh, in a dire situation, I think. You know, we we have to figure out how to how to unlock a little bit better. But um, you know, the we we are not going to run out of neg entropy. No, uh, uh, life is not going to run <laughs> out of neg entropy. Uh, it could be that we are running out of uh, the uh, types of food that we require and the climates that we require and the atmosphere that we require to survive as a species. Sure. Sure. But uh, that is not a disaster for life itself, right? The cells are very hard to eradicate once they settle the planet. Even if you have a super volcano erupting or a meteor hitting the Earth, mm -hmm. uh, Earth is probably not going to turn sterile anytime soon. And uh, so from the perspective of life, uh, humanity is probably just an episode that is, uh, exists to get the fossilized carbon back into the atmosphere.